What up, fellas? It's been a minute since I checked in with y'all. Appreciate your support because I also understand that it takes 100% effort for us to live our lives individually. So any moment that you're able to give something else other than yourself, that's truly a gift. But I'm putting this message out specifically for you, for someone. It doesn't matter if you are in your teens or you are seasoned. This message is for you. Now, <clears throat> it's not easy being you guys. I know that. You know that. And you know what's at stake. That's that last name. That's right. Your last name. That is your most prized possession that you won't ever possess on this planet is your last name. Not because of who it's connected to on a family structure, but your legacy and what's going to be revealed in the future. I know that. I know somebody right now is like, man, I don't have time for that, Gerald. I got bills everywhere. I got drama coming around. I don't know how I make it through the day. I'm, this message is for you. Let me tell you something. Do you realize what you're, what you're seeing right now? It's a test. That's right. It's a test. It's a test to see if you got the fortitude in you to conquer your dreams, to make your dreams a reality. Look, I understand for those who had that older mentorship may have been your father, your dad, your grandfather, your uncle, or who had it, and you still got questions. And for those who did not, were not exempt, I want you to know this. This is all a test. What's at stake is your legacy. I put a video just a few minutes ago about if you're being tested. If you haven't seen the video at your leisure, please check it out. But what's at stake is what you give in your, rea in your reality. What actions that come from your steps? Because what you don't realize is you've got people in your environment, may it be at work, may it be in your personal life, may it be your connections. They look to you in a certain light. If you don't like the way the light is being projected, it is your responsibility to change the light, even if it means removing yourself from the situation. Every time that you allow yourself to fall from your foundation, you do a disservice to yourself. I know I'm talking to someone. You already know that your anger only gets you but so far. You keep telling yourself, well, you know, Gerald, I'm not really like that, but, you know, I got anger issues. The reason why you got anger issues is because you will not address what is bothering you. So what I'm asking you is to go inside that emotional backpack. What was that, what was that pain that you still got that is unresolved? What is it? What is it? I'm talking to you. You got to look at that because... That's the foundation of everything else that makes the way you see life and makes you decide the things you do. But I also know this. I know some of you, your biggest challenge is, is validation. And I know the society, it paints a, a very clouded, distorted view of what a man is supposed to be. Yes. I understand we are supposed to be the protector, the provider, the foundation to anything that has our name connected to it. But if you do not have that foundation with yourself first, how about that little boy inside you? What about him? Are you doing what you need to do so that that little boy inside you is at peace? Because I'm going to tell you what, I know some of y'all are doing this. <laughs> You are emulating your environment. That's right. You had somebody come into your life for a minute, 
and they say, well, you know what? To navigate this situation, this is what you do. And it has not paid off for you. Why? Because that's not the path you're supposed to be on. It's not. I know some of y'all may be dealing with addictions. Yeah, let's speak on it. Because Gerald got much love for you. Mm -hmm. And what's sad about it, your environment, those who have access to you, some of you are being, that is a tool that they're using to manipulate you. So let's get back to that little boy. Every time that you wake up, it's another day that you can change something, step by step. If you're frustrated because your money is not the way you want it, let's, let's talk about it because I know some of y'all, that's how y'all navigate life. It's about dollars and cents. I'll get that. But guess what? You could have all the money in the world, but if your mind ain't right, you're going to blow it. I know some of y'all done been through that too. Well, let's talk about them relationships. Mm -hmm. You didn't allow somebody in your life that really made your heart go bang and zoom. You may have actually thought you loved someone for them to betray you, to hurt you deep. And you have this mindset that, well, you know what? I'll never allow another woman close to me. Well, guess what? You ain't got to worry about that. Because until you decide to love yourself first, you're going to attract the same type of people with the same mind, the same mindset that you got. I think y'all know that by now. Because it's not about a type. It's about a spiritual connection. So, I know there's somebody right now inside, your heart is pounding. Because you know what I'm saying is true. You're saying to yourself, Gerald, everybody that around me, yeah, I'll pretty much get my way, but that's not love. That's fear. And I want to be respected at all costs. But once you start respecting yourself, why well, once you step out of that comfort zone that does not work and step into something that will, like getting back to you? I know right now somebody's saying, I ain't trying to hear that bullshit. Well, guess what? That's your reality. You know what don't work. Why don't you invest in something that will? You. Don't worry about your environment right now because that, as you know it, is going to change. It's going to change. I know somebody right now, you may be in a relationship, and you may have some children, and all you want to do is be there for the children, but you know that you don't have a relationship with your wife or the children's mother. You don't have a relationship with the children's mother because of the fact that how it was formed. So what I'm trying to get at is let you know What's found in you is your environment. So if she's broken, she's a reflection of you, dog. She's a, she's a reflection of you. But if you are spending one moment in an environment that is not spawning growth, that is not yielding your body, you, your mind, body, and spirit to grow, why you dare? Why you dare? Some of y'all may have this issue. You got connections with your direct family, and you guys are not eye to eye. You've been battling that same challenge since you was little. It's not your responsibility to make them grow. It's by you to grow and maybe lead them by example. Maybe you are the matriarch of your family. Maybe you are the one that is supposed to break the cycle. You ever thought about that? You looking around yourself. And everybody is a functional alcoholic, or they're on drugs, or, or they've allowed their situations and disappointments to snuff their dreams out, and they don't, they see life as this is the best it's going to be. Stop beating your, your brain up. Stop beating yourself up and do something different. It's time for you to love yourself. That's what manning up is about. Because, see, until you get you right, your environment won't be right. The energy that you put out is the energy you're going to get back. I don't care if you're 65 years old because I got a feeling somebody's going to see this video. God loves you. Don't you realize that? Why do you think you exist? But I know somebody's saying, well, Gerald, if God loved me so much, why am I taking so many shorts? It's because you refuse to see what does not work. 
That's what it's about. So what I'm asking you, every one of you, make a conscious decision to heal yourself. If you got to take if you got to step away from a situation to get you right, then do so. Because every moment that you stay in an environment that is toxic, nothing good comes out of a toxic environment. Nothing but death. Come on, man. I know somebody's saying right now, <coughs> you made some choices. And I guarantee it was impulsive. But you listened to those you look, listen to that environment, you listen to that person, and it costs you time from your life. Yeah. And you have to deal with the nightmares of being incarcerated. See, they don't understand that. They don't understand what you went through emotionally in that torment of being away. But guess what? You came through it. You, you came through it because you would be there if you wasn't meant for something better. You remember that one moment when you was behind those bars and you tapped into your spirituality? You remember that? I know I'm talking to somebody and you said to yourself, if I only had one more opportunity, I know I'm talking to somebody. Come on, man. I'm, this is your validation to you. I know there's somebody right now, you're feeling that your heart is being placed on ransom because once again, you have a relationship that has, you have children. You want nothing more to be in your children's life, but you can't deal, you can't, you don't understand the mother's position. She may be doing things that you totally don't agree with. And it breaks your heart to see her go through these things, but these are woeful choices. Let me tell you something. You focus on you and your responsibility. You'll come to understand nine times out of ten, the things that you're seeing is for your response, your reaction. Because, see, they hurt. They hurt, they hurt, and they hurt. So the last thing they want to do is see you happy. So they're going to do little things. It might be so bro, might be so brazen, they'll, they'll bring a guy in, in your face. Blatant disrespect. But little do you know the fix is in because you know the outcome. He's going to leave too. But that does not negate you from your children. Now, let's flip it. Let's say the, role, the roles were reversed and it was your doing. Because we all play a part in our, in our, in our, in our problems. You got to forgive yourself. You got to forgive them. But know this. They were an individual before they came into your life. Just as they're going to be an individual if you're not there. So stop allowing your children to pay that burden. I need you to give back to yourself. Sometimes we go through things in life. Sometimes we go in that valley, which is, we know is a spiritual storm, and it seems like you're just taking L's every day. That ain't nothing but the devil trying to break you, because ultimately the devil wants your life. He don't want you to get back into yourself, because if you were able to get back into yourself, you would really be able to tap into the real, the strength, your inner strength, your divine strength that makes you you. Because, see, what's at stake is the person that you're going to become. That's right. So you can't get back yesterday. Uh-uh. You can't. But it's your responsibility to learn from it, to look at it authentically. And to do that, that means you've got to be vulnerable with yourself. It doesn't matter what's coming out of your mouth and what you tell him. Tell your boy. Now, let's talk about your friends. If they was really your friends, why are they not living the example in their lives? You might come to realize it's because they're afraid to. And misery loves company. Haven't you noticed every time that you want to do something to better yourself, your partner's always come around to talk you off that ledge? 
No, nah, no, nah, you ain't got to do that. You want to go back to school? No, nah, why you want to do that? It's because they don't have the courage to do it themselves. They, they, but they won't tell you that. Because whenever time they want to turn up, it's for show. For who? It's for validation, to feel accepted. Well, you'll never find acceptance until you find acceptance inside yourself. So what I'm asking you, if you have not, Make this the moment that you decide to do something different. You know how they say biblically, what don't kill you make you stronger. But if love ain't in it, it can't grow. So go within those traumas. I know there's somebody right now, your biggest pain is because your mother wasn't a mother. And your dad wasn't there. Oh, yeah, I went there because I say it out of love. You're starting to come to understand that Maybe the possibility that your father wasn't there because of what they had. Because listen, we do live in the we do live in the era where parents use children as weapons. And you don't know every conversation and you don't know every action. So that shade that you're giving towards your father, because he's not in your life, guess what? You'll come to realize Half of the way you think comes from him, and the other half comes from your environment. So if you're raised in an environment where mama's always talking bad about daddy, and her connection, all they do is talk about daddy, why does it surprise you that you have a negative outlook about daddy? Hmm? Just think about it that way. Because cycles continue until they're broken. I ain't got. I know that needs to go out to somebody because guess what? You were raised in that environment, and guess what? This cycle is being repeated right now, and it'll continue to repeat until you decide to step in and handle your business by getting you right, so you can heal your children. They need you too. But more importantly, who needs you the most is yourself, because the man that you are destined to be is a strong man. A grounded man, a loving man, and deserves to have all your desires to come to pass. But you got to take yourself off the grid, y'all. Stop living to society's expectation of what a man is. Because you'll come to understand society's precipitate, uh, perception of what a man is does not have God in it. You're just a number. You're just a sheep. You're just a supplier of revenue to push the agenda. I ain't got to tell you. But guess what? That doesn't give you the right or the privilege to fail yourself. Some of y'all have God-given talents. The world needs them. So why won't you heal yourself? Don't worry about the one, because I know that's what you want. You're waiting for Mrs. Wright to come into your life. Mrs. Wright is going to be a spiritual woman, but she is whole. She can't heal you. You must heal yourself. That's what being yoked is about. So the conscious choice that needs to be asked does your life matter? What does your heart tell you? Because every day that you get up, every day that you take a breath, that's an opportunity to do something different. That's an opportunity for you to grab your, ground your feet, place that foot down, and push forward. That doesn't mean you got to forget. But you are mandated to forgive. You got to understand something, y'all. You might not realize it, but every person that has wronged you, sooner or later, they're going to be begging to hear you breathe. You deserve to have your life. I can't do the work. And I also know this, too. There's no manual on this planet 
that will teach you how to do the right thing. But there are plenty of examples out there to teach you what not to do. Love yourself more. God's praying for you. You know I am. I see your worth. And for that, for that, for that, it helps me discern mine. Why do you think people keep coming back in your life? Have you ever thought about that? There's a divine reason behind it. So prepare yourself. Be blessed.